Hello and welcome to another edition of Dale Simmons Photography Studios product review. Today we have kind of a fun unique product here. It's by Pro-Am. It is a jib boom for a video camera. This is the four footer and I want to talk about it a little bit. Some of the the good things and, and some of the not so good things that are here but it really works really well. So first of all uh, basically I've added the the counterweights and the monitor and the monitor bracket and I'll talk about that in a minute and then mounted it up to my camera. But it's used basically is to swing the thing around and get you in different positions where you can operate your camera from different locations. You can take it up. Uh, this particular one is, uh, is four feet. So I'm up around seven, seven and a half feet right now. And you can bring it down to as low as one foot. Now one of the great things is in this particular product is that it, this thing moves and keeps the camera parallel as you you're swinging your boom around so it keeps the camera regardless of where you are it keeps it parallel and uh, that really works out really well now let's talk about the product itself one of the good things that it did is the the actual mounting system itself is really outstanding I like what they did with the mounting shoe here they made it adaptable for a quarter 20 center mount but they also put in four additional holes that are quarter 20 tapped to add some more security and what basically I did here is on mine I wanted to be able to mount it to the tripod but not with just one standard quarter 20 because based on the counterweights that you have and I'll tell you how much that is in just a minute I wanted to make sure that that I wouldn't have to worry about you know stressing out that single quarter 20 and causing a problem maybe snapping and breaking the camera so I wanted to make sure that that didn't happen so they made that out of a good quality uh, product. The product, basically the arms are made out of aluminum and it's pretty lightweight. They give you a kind of a, a mathematical equation based on your camera weight. It's about four to one. So basically if your camera weighs five pounds, you're gonna roughly have to have about 20 pounds of counterweight. Mine particularly turned out to be, my camera weighs without the, the roadie mic and the battery weighs 4.8 pounds. So add the, the microphone and the battery on it, it kind of put me up over the top. So basically it's settled for 22 and a half pounds because what you want to do is when you walk away from this, you want your camera and your, your boom arm to be 100% parallel and not, not doing this kind of thing or flipping down on its own. You want it to be, when you set it up and walk away, that it actually stays true. And that actually makes it easier to operate and swing things around. Now I have this camera on casters right now, but if you watch as I swing this thing around, and let me get that over here, that I have the monitor set up, and I'll turn that on here for you. Now the monitor, I would highly recommend that you have one because it's kind of hard to see what's going, oops, hit the wrong button. Uh, it's kind of hard to see what's going on back here. Now if you notice, I've got the monitor on here and what I did is I made an L bracket. Now the company Pro-Am offers that as an accessory but it cost me like five dollars to, to pick up the material for it. Cut it myself. What was great about it on their main bracket on both sides they had drilled and tapped quarter 20 tap on the bracketry itself so actually I just took two quarter 20s lined up the holes in the bracket, drilled the bracket out, and then shot the quarter 20s right in there, no problem at all. So it really worked well. So as you can see, you can swing your camera around and down, and it doesn't lose any action at all. It keeps, it keeps itself, it keeps the camera parallel to the ground, so all your, your particular videos are absolutely level. So when you're setting it up on the camera, bracket mount here one of the things you want to make sure is take your your little LED and set it up on grid so when you're lining this thing up you may have to based on where you're at I wouldn't recommend bending that bracket but you may have to uh, 
kind of tweak it just a little bit. In this particular case, it was flat leveled on. I found out the further I went in, it actually cocked the camera a little bit to the, to the left. So as I moved it back out, and I had to allow for the, for the uh, little two and a half to pop out. Let me swing that around here. I think you can see it. Let me see here. Now I have the grid set up. So you can actually see where the leveling was on this thing. Let me get this around. And basically what I did here was to set up this thing up to where I got the counterweights in. I got the monitor all set up. And then I made some modifications to the product itself. And I'm going to talk about those modifications right now. There was two things I didn't like about the way this thing was built. And I don't understand why they did it. One of the things is that I picked up some round stock. In this case, it was some rectangular stock. Because this came in with just a straight long bolt with a wing nut at the end. The problem is if you over torque this thing, it'll pinch it in. So what I did is I got it to where it was you know, perfectly straight here and here, and not to ca cause any drag or friction here because it would actually hinder your movements on the camera. So what I did was cut that to size and then dropped it in and then tightened it up just to that point. And I know that I'm good to go there. The other thing I did <clears throat> is on their weight setup, the one thing that I didn't like also, it was just a straight bolt. And on the straight bolt, that would put a lot of stress on that. You can see the big black knob back here. On the knob, it has about maybe a, an inch of depth, about the same circumference as a standard weight. Basically what I did here is I cut a piece of PVC pipe that had the same outside diameter as the weights and then put it in here, cut it, estimated the difference of the, and it's about an inch on this knob and estimated that and you can see that it was just off a little bit but now I don't have all that stress on just that one long bolt so that kind of paid off kind of cool the things that I noticed on this particular product as it came in they boast that they use powder coating and I'm gonna get up over here because I know you're gonna be able to see it let me get this zoomed in okay you can see that black mark here what they did is they scratched the powder coating and instead of sending it back in to be powder coated, somebody just took a marks a lot and just kind of covered over that scratch. Now, to me, you know, I don't put out product like that. I wouldn't want my product to go out the door like that and the quality control in this particular case. Now, this may be picky, but it's just if you're going to put out a decent product and this, this scratch is pretty deep, so it actually broke the powder coat and they claim that it's powder coated. And then they just covered it up with a, with a marking pen and that was not really cool at all. Also another thing I did, and this is not required by any means, but on the cabling I actually took some P-clamps, little plastic ones here, and I pop riveted them all the way down so you could see here, this way the cable is nice and clean and it hooks up into the monitor and everything is really well. So that part of the product really came out kind of cool. One of the things I really like about this thing is how effortless it is to move this thing around and to get your shots where you want them. Uh, it just swings out and I have this the particular tripod is on casters too. So basically you could do a lot of interesting shoots here. If you had it on casters you can bring it in, bring it out and do whatever you want and just roll it where you want it and then roll it back in. I mean it'll really make it nice for your video shots. and really not get that jerkiness in the, in the video or the shakiness. It really does an excellent, excellent yeah. job. As we say here at Dale Simmons Photography Studios, happy shooting.